Hi, I'm Dr. Pete, and you're here because you want to know about medicinal cannabis. I'm a scientist who can help you sort the fluff from the fact. Maybe you've been wondering, what exactly is medicinal cannabis? Is it just the same thing some people smoke to get high, or is it different? So let's kick off. First up, here's a quick overview of what cannabis is. Cannabis comes from the cannabis sativa plant, just like this one. Its dried leaves and flowers are marijuana, the gummy stuff is hashish, and the oil that comes from the hashish is cannabis oil. Simple so far, right? Here's where it gets slightly tricky. Cannabis is made of 500 components, 80 of them called cannabinoids. Cannabinoids are chemicals from the cannabis plant, or other chemicals just like them made in human and animal bodies, or man-made in labs. The main active ingredient in cannabis is delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, but don't worry, we'll just call it THC. It's the main part that makes you high. The amount of THC is different from plant to plant, and we think THC in plants is much stronger than a few decades ago. Okay, so that's the basics. Got it? So medicinal cannabis. It can mean a few things. It might be the regular old cannabis sold on the street but used for therapeutic reasons. It might be oil from the hashish, or it might be a special preparation made in a pharmaceutical lab designed to make the most of the good stuff and get rid of the bad stuff. Mostly you'll hear more about the first two when it's on the news on TV. Most of our medicine is made in a lab. That way we know what's in it. We know it's been tested, and we know each dose is the same. When regular cannabis is used as medicine, we can't be sure of these things. We don't know how strong it is, what mix of chemicals is in it, and because of this, doses will never be the same. So how do we know how much to use? Good question! These factors would make it difficult for a doctor to prescribe to a patient, so in countries where medical cannabis is legal, it's often not prescribed by a doctor, like regular medicine. What else do we really know? First up, we know that smoking the whole plant as a treatment for anything hasn't been tested in gold standard human research. That's the high quality, credible kind of research. Secondly, we do know that pharmaceutical preparations have been tested, though not enough yet. So what did they tell us? Patients with nausea, vomiting, and loss of appetite from HIV or cancer have had some relief with cannabis. A pharmaceutical cannabis product, Sativex, is legal in some countries to treat spasticity in MS patients. Using cannabis to relieve glaucoma is short-lived, and other treatments are better. Sativex, which doesn't make users high, has been used effectively to treat cannabis withdrawal, making it easier to quit. Tests using CBD for seizures in certain types of epilepsy are underway, but more research is needed. And there are no studies that show cannabis cures cancer. So bottom line, some good signs, but there are some side effects and not enough research yet. Some countries have legalized cannabis or its derivatives for medical use. Canada, parts of the USA, the Czech Republic, France, Israel, and the Netherlands. In Australia, cannabis is illegal, but there are moves to make it legal for medical purposes in some states. To recap, medicinal cannabis can mean different things to different people, and more studies need to be done to get solid evidence. Well, that's it. Check back for our next Dr. Pete Explains, or visit our website for more information. <laughs>